Welcome to the Investor News. In this video, Bill Holter shares his view on the current economic situation, precious metals, and the future demand for silver. Listen to what he has to say. Yeah, it appears that they have signed uh, a long-term deal uh, for Saudi Arabia to supply oil to China. Um, the question is going to be, how does China pay for that? Are they going to pay for it in dollars? I, I highly doubt that. Um, this is this is more than a dent or a ding in the demand for dollars. Uh, should you know? Should China uh, and Saudi Arabia do the deal? Do it in yuan? Do it in gold? What have you? Uh, and one other, there's another country. Uh, Ghana is looking to buy oil using gold. So I think these are. These are a couple of events showing that the, the dollar is moving away from reserve currency status. And I think it does show that gold is coming back into the system. There's over uh, $80 trillion worth of derivatives outstanding on uh, on the dollar itself, Forex, foreign exchange uh, derivatives. And that was a warning issued by the Bank for International Settlements. So to answer your question, yeah, we are in a tumultuous time. It, it is centering uh, around f uh, foreign, ex you know, foreign uh, exchange, currency exchange. Uh, and it, whether it starts with the, in the FX market or, or whether it starts in the credit markets or even if it starts in the derivatives market, it's going to end up in the derivatives markets which you're looking at over a two quadrillion dollar market. They can't, they can never be paid back. Um, they cannot perform just because they're larger than the system itself is. So I think that's a good description, uh, game of musical chairs in the dark. I mean, we experienced that here in Texas two years ago and, you know, they're wanting to rely on windmills that freeze in the winter time and they actually use more energy keeping them uh, from freezing than they produce. Uh, when I, I another in green energy, I mean, look at Europe, look at Germany. Um, you, you're going to have, you, you've had huge movements upward in price of energy in order to heat during winter time. There are many people that can't even afford it. Uh, uh, so, I mean, that's, that's one example right there. I mean, there's such a long list. Uh, were the were the vaccinations uh, a benefit to the people? No. What it what you're seeing is the population is being culled. Uh, the immigration policy in Europe, uh, the you know the financial monetary policy of the West. What did they do? They got the entire system completely over indebted, uh, more indebted than on any ratio you want to look at in all of history, and what are they doing now? They're ramming interest rates higher. Well, what does that do? That's going to pop the debt bubble. Uh, I mean, there's such a, that, that's such a broad, a broad question. I mean, we could go on for an hour on that, but suffice it to say that 95% uh, or more of the policies being put forth are not for the people's benefit. It's for the control of the people. The vast majority of people watching or listening to this consider themselves libertarian. And really, to me, what that means is you basically want to be self-sufficient. You want basic services from your government, but you want your government, you want your neighbors. You just want to be left alone and do for yourself and be self-reliant. Now, that leads to uh, my advice to people is become as self-reliant as possible, whether that's uh, energy, electricity, whether that's clean water, whether that's food, what have you. You want to be as self-reliant as you possibly can. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. Going another step further from a financial standpoint, you want as few intermediaries between you and your money as possible. Uh, and I think I think I mentioned this on, on your channel before, Dunnigan. Uh, 
I have lots of mining stocks, but I have almost all of the certificates. And the reason I've done that is because when your broker goes bankrupt, even in normal times, it could take three to five years for you to get access to your shares. Whereas if you have them in hand and your broker's gone down, if there's another broker up or whenever the system does come back up, uh, you've got the certificates in hand, you can deposit them and liquidate them. So just, just try to be as self-sufficient as you can, self-reliant and, and you, you don't want, uh, you don't want entities between you and your capital. Um, I've always recommended somewhere between five and $10,000 in cash, cash. Uh, you don't want it in hundred dollar bills. You want it in $20 bills. And my advice would be once the banks do close, you want to spend that pretty quickly because people are going to figure out once the system goes down that they're just pieces of paper, that they really don't have any value. And after, I don't know, two weeks, three weeks, something like that, the sentiment will be, hey, I'm not giving you eggs or I'm not giving you gasoline or I'm not giving you anything real for pieces of paper. So dollars will more than likely go to a, a significant premium for a week to two weeks. In other words, the buying power will increase. But once people figure out that they don't want to give something real for something that's just a piece of paper with ink on it, then the purchasing power will collapse and they will be uh, unacceptable. I've done, if you want to call it, a, you know, walking surveys, go to a farmer's market, or if I come across a farmer, I will ask, uh, when things go bad, will you accept silver? And most of them get a, a pretty big grin and they say, yeah, of course, <laughs> we would prefer. And actually I've heard several say that they'd prefer, uh, prefer silver. That saves them having to turn the dollar bills into sil uh, silver. It's already done for them. They're not understanding that gold and silver themselves are money. Um, if you go back, uh, go back a hundred years, dollar bills were derivatives of gold. Uh, silver certificates were derivatives of silver. So the mindset, how do I get rid of it? That's not going to be the problem. What's going to happen is once this thing goes down, the demand for gold and silver is just going to explode because people are going to figure out, hey, everything has bankrupted and I want something that can't bankrupt. And the only two monies that cannot bankrupt are gold and silver. So just understand that gold and silver themselves, in fact, are money, monies, have been money for 5,000 years. And the question of how do I get rid of it and, and get into dollars or what have you, uh, that's, it, it's absolutely 180 degree thinking is what it is. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time. They get your life. You are not even in a rat race. You're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know, but I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiply it with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1,000x my money. This is not a joke. I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. 
And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave, you forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address and I see you on the other side. Your Marcus Dan.